So we've just come off the shuttle bus back to the long-term car park. We've got a couple of concerns. Our motorhome might be parked in. And we're hoping it starts because oh, it looks like someone else is having battery problems. Good news, we've just managed to start the motorhome, but we don't know how we're going to get out. When we swing, our van is really wide. We've had a lovely gentleman helping us and um, we will be helping him jumpstart his car. So people are good everywhere. They really are. Fingers crossed. Woo! Yeah! Alrighty, we're back in our van. We're excited. I'm excited. And one northbound. Oh man, there's some cars over there. All right, so we are back in our motorhome. We are headed towards Northern Wales. I did find um, a pub on uh, one of the Facebook pages, which is good for motorhomes. And it's called the Old Hand Diamond Inn, and it's near Shrewsbury, which is on the, well, the pub itself is pretty much near the border of, of England and Wales. So we figure that's as good a place as any to be able to park up for the night, and it'll get us really close to where we need to be tomorrow. Quick stop at the service centre to grab some fuel. Yeah. Sneaky. Well, it's called a steak slice, but I think it's actually a pie. Baked bean and sausage pastry. I hate baked bean. Uh, well, I like baked bean, like sausage, like pastry. <laughs> the toll plaza at the moment so guess we have to pay some money here yeah that's super easy Free drag. <laughs> just racing a truck we win Six exit. Six, 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 six exit. Okay. Six exit, and I wonder how many sets of traffic lights there are to actually get around this roundabout. So the last roundabout we went on had three or four sets of traffic lights just to get off it. Three. No, that one will be number five. Yep. So then this is our sixth six. one coming up. That six. Well done. We've stopped at Telford because we need to go to um, Halfords, I think the shop is called Halfords, which is an automotive supplies. Um, we would like to get an inverter so I can use the 240 volt power for my laptop um, and we can charge a few extra things. So let's see if we manage to find one. So it seems that it's a little bit harder to find an inverter than we expected. We've tried Halfords, we've tried somewhere else I'll be in queue just in case and we've also now tried screw fix and it's like nowhere has them So I've just arrived at the Old Hand and Diamond Inn. Well, I'm just going in to see um, about paying for a hookup for the night, so. All right, we're plugged in for the night. Do some vacuuming for dinner. Be a bit domestic. Let's see how she rolls. It's a beautiful little country pub. I like it too. It looks really nice. I like this place. This morning you were in Portugal. Where are you now? Are we in England or Wales? I don't know. <laughs> A lot of pubs in the UK will let you stop over in their car park for the night. You can go in, get a meal. Um, some of them have electric hookup and some services. And so this one's just on the border of Wales and England. Um, just on the border, we've just crossed over it. So we did actually make it to Wales for dinner and we were in Portugal for breakfast. So lovely service. The meal was huge. I... 
Um, but yeah, couldn't rate it any higher, really. Waking up in beautiful Wales. Now isn't that a pretty picture at the back of a pub? I think there's a squirrel maybe? I don't know, something keeps dropping stuff on our roof. <laughs> Quick little toilet stop. <laughs> found myself a little antique shop next to next to the toilet. <laughs> Gotta go have a little look. So I was just talking to the man who owns this place and it's called Bailey's Alley and he says it's the biggest little reclamation yard in the UK and he's really happy for me to film and put this on YouTube so um, it's awesome I'm gonna show you around. <laughs> this is just the dog. Check out this view. Dale's met Jess now. He won't be leaving. <laughs> Thank you wish. very much. Yeah. It was lovely so lovely to, to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. Yeah. It's nice to meet nice. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, so just finished up at the little scrapyard and the owner Dave picked out this cute little miner that was um, found in a little cottage. Uh, a little Welsh cottage, so that one's very Welsh. Got a little teapot. And these were for horses, um, just the big Shire horses used to hang on them as decoration. So that's a little bit of fun. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I'm very happy with my little junkyard finds. Dale swears to me I don't need this in the camper van. I just don't know why. Macaroni and cheese in a can. What do you reckon? Could be nice. That could be alright. So after our quick little detour to Beaver's Alley, right. we're going to go and see Horseshoe Falls in Clangotham. Head in that direction and I think there's an abbey nearby, so that's our plan for now. It may change in the next five minutes. Oh my god. How are we gonna get down there? It's not what I was expecting. I know what I was expecting. Can we fit under that? Yeah. So just pull up the horse shoe ball. Take the next left. Is this in here, is it? I don't know. It says take the next left. Are we going to be able to make it? In 300 yards, you will arrive at your destination. I'm glad he's driving. <laughs> it's a bit dusty, with little roads, and you don't know that you're going to turn down one, and then next minute you're on one in a seven metre motorhome. So here we are at Horseshoe Falls. We know nothing about it, um, so I saw it on a map. Um, so it's a weir designed by Thomas Telfish, which provides water for the canal. And then downstream that canal crosses the Ponkisfakta Ponkisfakta Aqueduct, um, which is his first masterpiece. And the aqueduct and its canal um, actually is a World Heritage Site. Mm -hmm. And that he gained that status in 2009 um, because of the civil engineering. It was built. Um, between 1793 and 1808. This building in front of me was built in 1947, the meat house, to measure how much water flows through the canals. So they allow around 12 million gallons of water per day drawn from here at the River Deep, to supply the water canals and help supply South Cheshire 
with drinking water. So that was our little walk to Horseshoe Falls. Nice little stroll along the canals. Um, time to probably go and find somewhere to park for lunch before we go and do our activity for the afternoon. I'm out of breath. I just went and spoke to someone at reception and um, so they've given me a map and a code and for five pound I can, we can empty our wastewater and we like use their services so I figured that's a pretty good thing and we can then go and look at the Abbey as well. So. so the boys here have decided to come up with a name Dale and Hunter have for our motorhome. Well we're the Tassie Trekkers. So it makes sense that our motorhome's the enterprise. It takes us where no man has gone before. <laughs> Nerds. This is our first go of emptying our toilet. Not quite sure what we're doing. Hopefully we don't spill it. I might stand back. <laughs> You don't need to watch that. Alright, so we need a 75ml blue water toilet fluid to the waste tank for every 10 litres of capacity. And then two to three litres of fresh water after that. So this fire duct that you can see in the distance, we're going to be going across that scene on a canoeing tour. We're just going for a little paddle up the canals. <laughs> Don't drop the oar. Mind the barges. Goodness gracious me, this is a highway in here. This barge behind us is trying to turn around. It looks like it's blocked the whole canal. So here we are on the top of the aqueduct and we are 160 feet off the ground or something like that. 135. Now this bridge still has the original construction from the day it was built and I think it was finished in 1805 I think he said it was finished. Um, structurally, structurally nothing has changed, um, it's actually waterproof with a uh, sheep pool of all things. Great fun! So I've just turned around at bridge five and I've got the competitive younger brother in the front here. Yeah, I need a win. And he's angry that we're now behind. We were in front, now we're behind. So now we're gonna play catch up. <laughs> We've just overtaken, convincingly. Hunter was bribed with two ice cream scoops if he won. We, we passed them. Fletch is a little machine, he doesn't wanna lose. We won. There they are. Last two days we left Portugal, landed in England, drove through Wales and tomorrow morning we'll be in Ireland. It's one o'clock in the morning, gonna catch a boat, go to Ireland. Heads up, if you want to bring a motorhome to Dublin, probably don't.